Hey guys, it's Swapsi back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to episode 29 of this free Noteful course. Layers organize the information on your page. You can use them to trace diagrams, create notes for active recall, or compartmentalize the information you show on the page during your presentations. All things we will go through in this video. To see the layers in your notebook, go to the list icon. and then the Layers tab. You can then add a new layer. You can name the layer by going to the three dots icon, To show the notes on your layer, tap the eye icon. Toggling this icon will show or hide the notes on that layer. Let's go through a practical example to create some notes for active recall. This page already has some notes on it, so I'll add another layer for revision questions. I'll then name this new layer so I know what it's for. After making sure that my new layer is selected, I then write my questions on the margin of the page where there's some space for it. For a revision session, I can hide the notes on the page then attempt to answer the questions. When I am done, I can simply show the notes to mark my answers. Another practical example would be tracing a diagram. After adding a diagram you want to trace, Add a new layer for it and name it. Lock the layer with your diagram so that you won't be able to interact with it in any way. But make sure you keep it visible so you can see the diagram you're tracing. You also need to make sure that the tracing layer is above your diagram so that your new diagram that you'll be drawing will be visible. Once you have finished tracing your diagram, you can delete the original image. To do that, you have to unlock the diagram layer and then delete the image. You can also choose to delete the whole layer instead of just the diagram. The third and final example of using layers in Noteful is for presentations. So during a presentation, I want to present this diagram I just drew in parts, four parts to be exact. So I'll create four layers and name them one to four. It's important to note that Noteful lets you create a lot of layers for your notebooks. 
we haven't been able to reach its limit. To make any changes to a layer in Note 4, you have to make sure that it is unlocked, otherwise you can't interact with it in any way. So to quickly demonstrate that, I will lock this diagram layer, then try to move it. As you can see, I can't. But if I unlock it, it's very easy to select and move around. My diagram is on one layer but I can move the different parts of the diagram to different layers. To do that, I have to select the part of my diagram that I want to move. And on this pop-up menu, I go to move to layer. And pick the layer I want that part to go to. I'll do this for all the different parts in my diagram. In this way, Note 4 helps you compartmentalize the different parts of your notes and, in my case, my diagram. To hide and show features of this diagram during my presentation, I will start off by hiding all the layers of my diagram. Then, as I talk about the different sections, of this diagram, I can present them, which is showing them, making them visible one by one to build the full picture. So you can apply this to any kind of presentation. So here's a summary of all the things you can do with layers in Noteform. You can name them. Lock them to prevent any editing. Move notes between them. Merge down to combine the selected layer with the one below it. Or you can delete your layers. And that is all about layers in Noteform. We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next episode.